Good morning. My name is Miss Brown, and I am going to introduce myself in this video and give you a little bit of information about our class because most of you have had me for 103 and 201, but last semester was not what well, it's going to be this semester. This semester is going to be totally different, but for those of you that have not had me before, I want to give you a little background about myself. I um, graduated from the University of Georgia with my husband, and we moved to Dothan and were there about 14 years. While I was there, I got my master's in biology education at Troy, and I taught 23 years at Eufaula High School, teaching biology and anatomy and physiology, and I've been out at Wallace uh, for six years. I teach mainly on the Sparks campus, but I do teach classes that also happen on the Dothan campus. This is an online semester. Last semester you were taking live classes that we made online, so there were lots of allowances and we were flying by the seat of our pants. But we've been very busy getting things in place. This is an online class. And a lot of the allowances you were given last semester, you will not be given this semester. You are signed up for online and you knew it up front. So go into this with your eyes open. But I do want to go through this PowerPoint with you and um, talk about what we can expect from this semester. This will be posted as well as the video for this. But um, I am based on the Sparks campus in the D building. My phone number for my office is there. If you need to email me, you must do it only through Blackboard course mail. Do not email me through wallace.edu. I will not respond. I will only respond through Blackboard course mail. My office hours are listed there. You notice it's Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. Monday to 4.30 p.m., all Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursday I end the day at 2.30 p.m. I will be doing this from home until June 15th, and then I will be on the Sparks campus. If you need to come to campus to meet with me, you must make an appointment 24 hours before you're coming. These are the objectives. We're using the same textbook that we use for Anatomy and Physiology 1 or Bio 201. We're using the second edition. Um, it's the same book. We pick up where we ended. We ended with the nervous system and the senses, chapter 15. We pick up chapter 16 with the endocrine system. Then we study the cardiovascular system, which is chapter 17, 18, and 19. The immune system is 20, and chapter 21 is the respiratory system. Um, the digestive system is 22 and 23. 24 and 25 are the urinary system, and the reproductive system is chapter 26 and 27. You won't be physically touching the anatomical models and slides, but you will be using the lab book that goes along with um, Biology 202, so you must purchase it. As I said, it's the second edition of the um, Human Anatomy and Physiology textbook, and you must purchase the Bio 202 lab manual. Now, three, four, five, six, and seven. Super important. You must have a computer. All testing will be proctored. It will not work on a mobile device such as a phone or an Apple product like an iPad. You must have a computer. You must have a printer. You will have to print documents from Blackboard. You have to have internet access because you're going to be using Blackboard every day. You have to have speakers or earphones and you must have a webcam. 
Now, if you do not have a computer or you do not have a webcam, Wallace has purchased some that may be checked out by students. But you need to let me know immediately because there's a limited number and not having a computer and not having a webcam is not an excuse for missing an exam. Take care of it before your first exam, which is next week. So take care of it today. Let me know. Your grade breakdown is a little different from what you had in 201 because we have six unit exams that count 10% apiece. You will take a unit lab quiz with the first five exams. You take them on the same day that you take the unit exam. And that's 15%. And then the final exam, you take a couple of days before the final exam and it is comprehensive over all labs, and it counts 10%. All other assignments count 15%. As I mentioned, everything's going to be proctored using Proctorio from Blackboard. We will be able to see you to make sure you're not taking the test open notes or with a, another student at the same time. Every exam, every lab quiz, you must have pro use Proctorio. So you have to have a computer and a webcam. There are no exceptions. And you must have your Wallace ID to be able to use the Proctorio. A driver's license will not work. As I said, your first exam is next week. You need it's on Monday of next week. So you must have your student ID, your computer, your webcam to take the exam and the lab quiz. The exams, a little bit more detail. Um, the final exam is comprehensive. So 50% comes from units one through five and 50% comes from unit six. They are multiple choice exams. The questions come from the chapter objectives. They open at 8 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. All exams except the final are on Monday. They open Monday at 8 a.m. They close at 8 p.m. Hear me. This is important. Put a star by it. Make a note. Once you open it, you have to complete it. You are given 60 minutes. At the end of 60 minutes, it gets submitted. If you opened it and shut it, it's already submitted. Do not open it until you got 60 minutes to complete it. If you waste time, you're not going to get finished in 60 minutes. You have a little bit more than a minute per question, but it's a very little bit. So, don't waste time. Your lab exams are going to also be open that same day on Mondays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. They will last usually around 30 minutes unless they're extra long. At the end of the 30 minutes, they automatically submit. So once you open it, you have to complete it. And the final lab exam is, as I said, taken a few days before the final exam, and it is comprehensive. And you're, it's got 50 questions, so you're given 60 minutes. All other assignments, um, you must read. You bought a textbook for a reason, use it. There will be written assignments or discussion questions that could be part of the evaluation process. You're going to have an assignment that's due every Monday at 8 a.m. There will be nine of them because there are nine Mondays. I will use these to check attendance. 
Many times they are also graded. If you submitted at 8.05, you were counted absent. I will grade it and put it in for a grade if it's a graded assignment, but you will be counted absent. You also need to complete all your outline notes, which are fill in the blank, and you're not provided with note card notes this time, but you know how to make your own. So you need to answer all of the chapter objectives because that is where all exam questions come from. All of them come from there. Now, can you make up assignments and exams? Yes, some of them. But all requests for makeup work have to be initiated by you. I will not remind you that you missed the exam last Wednesday. Make sure you take it. Work must be completed within five weekdays of return to class. Return to class is the next calendar day from the missed assignment. We're not going to drag out this makeup work like some of you are notorious for doing. At the end of five weekdays, you've got a zero, and it will not change. If you miss an exam and a lab quiz on Monday, Tuesday is day one, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The following Monday is your fifth day. It has to be done by that Monday. You have to have a written, documented excuse. My department discussed this at length. I will not let you make up anything without you sending me a written, documented excuse. That's for exams and the unit lab quizzes. Assignments you cannot make up. These are the resources available. You've got your textbook, you've got your lab book, you've got lab assignments, you've got calendar you can print, chapter objectives you can answer, chapter notes you can fill in, recorded lectures, all of this is available to you. If you have any questions about any of the things listed there, you can go to that website. But again, Wallace ID, you must have it before next Monday because you've got a unit exam, and a lab quiz for the unit. How do you be successful in this class? You have to be positive and do not procrastinate. You know how overwhelming you felt in 201, and it was a um, live, in-person class up until the quarantine. This one is not live in person. You have got to discipline yourself. Your calendar says what chapters you should be working on, what labs you should be working on. Set yourself a schedule. Do not get behind. You will not make it. Stick to the course calendar. Submit the work. Take the unit lab quizzes and unit exams when they're scheduled. They won't be open back up and embrace the 86,400 seconds you're given. We are all busy, but you signed up for the class, so you've got to do what it takes to finish the class. You need a plan. When are you going to watch the lecture videos? When are you going to complete the notes? When are you going to answer your objectives? When are you just going to sit down and study? I know you've got children. I know you work. I know some of you work two jobs, but if you don't do what it takes in this class, you are not going to be successful. And some of you were successful in 201 in a way that if we had not gone into quarantine, you would have not been successful. And you know who I'm talking to. So make sure that you have a plan. Now, I'm going to get out of this, and as I said, I'm going to post this on Blackboard for you, but I want to go to our Blackboard class, 
and look at it for a second before we end this up. Okay? So we are 202 online. Okay. Getting started will be up for the first week. This is a welcome letter. It's different from my other welcome letters because it was designed for this online class. It explains what you need to be successful. You're being lazy if you don't read it. My office hours are posted here. My grading overview that we went over is here. Here is your course syllabus. This is your contract. Don't neglect reading it because you are responsible for knowing this information. There's my information, my division director's information, there's our outcomes we went over, the methods of instruction, the grading policy, all that, the textbook, all the things you need. I'm going to add to this the uh, computer, the webcam, internet access, the earbuds, or um, some sort of headphones. I'm going to add all that. Uh, this is the makeup policy that we've gone over. Cheating, labs, how you have to prepare yourself for those lab quizzes. Also, attendance. I have to check attendance for the nine and a half weeks. I check once a week. It often will be an assignment. Sometimes it will be discussion on discussion board. It has to be done by Monday at 8 a.m. And your responses must be complete sentences, a minimum of five. Um, be sure you go over the syllabus. Here's your course calendar. Please look at it closely. As you can see, from day one, you're working on chapter 16. That's why it was posted at the end of 201. This is your lab you're working on. This is lab one quiz, unit one exam. They're going to be on the first, on Monday. Open at 8 a.m., close at 8 p.m. Then you have a couple of weeks because we have such a long unit for unit two. And then as you see, it's bam, 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 bam. Week, 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 week. No space in between. You cannot get behind. I can't say that enough times. Here's your discussion boards. If they're posted, I'll have an announcements for you. Um, an announcement, not announcements. <laughs> um, if you want to check your browser to make sure it supports Blackboard, and if you want to install the Blackboard app on your devices. All of that is there. Now also, going to content, here's unit one. They're all set up the same way. Chapter one, you've got your objectives and your outline notes. I've listed your key terms. If you choose to define them, that's your choice. There's the PowerPoint that I use when I make the lecture videos, and here are the lecture videos. You need to watch them all to complete your questions. This is your instruction. We're not going to have live Teams meetings or live Zoom. We're not going to do that. We're going to do the lecture videos and communicate through Blackboard and on the telephone if necessary. But if we go back, you see, here's your Unit 1 lab quiz. It tells you it opens June 1st at 8 a.m. You know it closes at 8 p.m. And there's your unit exam. So everything is here that you need. If you don't use it, you're not going to be successful. I can't say it enough times. So please, please, Use Blackboard like you should and do your work. Soul search today. Are you going to do this? Do you have what's needed? Let me know if you need a computer or any kind of uh, webcam. Let me know today. Also, I will be communicating with you if you send me an email from 7 a.m. 
to 4.30 Monday through Wednesday, you'll hear from me within 24 hours. On Thursday from 7 a.m. to 2.30, you'll hear from me within 24 hours. 2.30 Thursday until 7 a.m. Monday, I won't be on the computer. You won't hear from me most likely. But you still need to communicate with me. I want you to be successful, but some of you have got to dig in to get it. And I look forward to this, and I'm excited about it, but I know I don't want you to think it's not a lot of work, because it is. And uh, that kind of ties up everything I've got to say. So if you need anything, just let me know. Bye-bye.